All right, so you got your lithium batteries for your insight conversion. The first thing you'll see is that half your batteries, probably about approximately half, are going to have some brackets on them. Here's a bracket here. Here's a bracket here. We need to take that off. The other half won't have them. And so we'll get rid of that guy. We don't need it. So the guy that has these brackets, uh, we need to take the brackets off. If you don't take them off, this extra uh, height here and the extra depth here will prevent you from being able to put all 18 batteries in the car. So the first thing you do is you're gonna take each pack that has all these guys, you're gonna flip it over, hang it over the edge of a table here, and we're gonna knock some rivets out. I'm using a 3 16th inch flathead, and what you do is I'm sticking it in sideways. You notice I'm not sticking all the way through it, it'll just go all the way through. I'm sticking it in sideways so that it'll catch. So let me show you what I'm doing. Inside of that battery, there's a bushing, and these guys are pressed into that bushing and that's what holds the batteries together. When you screw all the batteries together, you can screw that all thread as tight as you want because it stops on here and that way you don't over compress your cells. So when I put that 3 16th in, again, if I drive it all the way through, it, it'll come through. But what I want to do is catch the edge. So I'm putting it at an angle and then when I hammer it, I'm just hitting this edge and pushing it out. So that's pretty much all you're doing there. And so because it's a bushing, you're not going to damage the cell here. You know, it doesn't matter how sideways you screw the thing in, uh, it's still going to be entirely contained by that metal bush. So, you don't need to hammer these too hard here. You can really take your time. I'm not. So first thing you got is you got this bracket on the bottom. Now we need to get that off. So I actually use a quarter inch. So I'm up to a quarter. This was a 3 16th here. I'm up to a quarter. I find it a little easier. So on one side you got two rivets. You see one, two rivets. The other side you have four. One, two, three, four. So Here's how I found is the easiest to get them off. Uh, if you take your quarter inch and you start sticking it underneath here, you can just slide it. And you want to get it as close as you can to that rivet. And once you get it, you're just going to rotate the screwdriver. And it's going to pop right off. So we'll do the other side here. Like this. So we'll get up underneath there. Again, get as close as you can get. And then just turn it. It'll come right off. You'll see it, it deforms the metal here a little bit. It doesn't matter. Let's look inside that metal here. So here's one I've taken apart. Uh, it goes like that. Actually like that. And so you can see on top of these batteries, I guess I should show you the battery. Here's a battery. So inside of there, this guy is glued on to here. You can see where the glue is attached here. So this panel is actually pretty easy to get off. You just, when it's on, you just kind of start prying it up from one side, second side, third side, fourth side. And then as long as you don't fold it over, it'll be fine. So this is actually re-adhered a little bit. So I'm just kind of picking it up and it came off, right? No big deal. So what you can see is that this battery actually has about a 40 thou, so 0 0.04 inch uh, backer on it. So any kind of little dent you put in the metal is not really gonna matter. And if you actually look where those rivets are, they're way past where the battery ends. There's no battery underneath this side. And on this side, these rivets are way below this. So you can actually see the battery stops here and we're actually back in the lead. So you have probably a hundred thou of, of inward uh, damage you can do uh, and outward damage uh, pretty much until you hit the next battery. Now you'll see, if we look at one that we've taken the rivet off of, which I'm grabbing right now, put this guy here. When you stack them side to side, you can see, oh, these aren't, uh, hold on, these are two that don't have, that didn't never had rivets. Let me grab the ones that do. So when you stack the ones that never had rivets side by side, you can see there's a huge gap. Uh, I'm specifically showing you right here. So it doesn't matter if that metal bends out. And again, right here, it also doesn't matter if the metal bends out. So in short, um, you don't really need to be careful to even take these off. Now, you know, don't damage the damn thing. Um, so on this other side, there's actually four rivets. Rivets, no frogs here. Uh, one, two, three, four. So what I find is easiest to do is we'll pop these rivets. Get, again, you get as close as you can, and then just turn, you pull, pull the rivet. We'll pop the other rivet on the other side. Push it in, and rotate it like that. Once you have it popped, you can either rotate this until those rivets come out, or what I prefer is take your driver, stick it in, see how it, it, I keep it in this edge. I don't have it right here. Put it on that edge like that, and then just rotate. And once you get that uh, third one off, the fourth one is real easy to rotate off. So you can see I pulled this one out a little bit. Again, it doesn't really matter. 
there's a piece of plastic underneath it. There's no battery you could damage if you went the wrong way. So the brackets, we're not reusing. You can throw them away. Now the last thing, remember we pushed these four guys out. We need to just put them back in. So grab four, three, four, and just push them back in. You can push them in by hand pretty much. Uh, you don't need to push them all the way now, but it will help you with assembly. So what I do is I take my quarter inch flathead, put it backwards, and just tap it shut. And again, you can't put these in too far. The pushing will stop it. So there's that. So now we've done this battery. I'm not doing anything. I do not care what that looks like. Uh, and again, when you're hammering, just to show for clear, clarity again, when, I, when I'm sitting here at the end, pushing these guys in with a hammer, I'm, I'm doing this on a bushing, right? So I hit this guy, and I'm hitting, 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 hitting. It doesn't matter how hard I hit it, how many times. At the end of the day, that bushing stops my motion. So you don't need to be careful with that. Now, one thing you do need to be careful with, and I haven't done it here, is you do probably want to cover these. So I have these screwdrivers hanging out. If you short these leads out, uh, it's going to spark. It's going to um, ruin this nice copper, probably, yeah, copper uh, finish. Probably has some kind of surface coating to keep it from oxidizing. Uh, yeah, you'll need to do this. Uh, probably eight batteries that have them. Uh, I'll do one more real fast, just to show you when you're not constructing. It is, it is actually very, very quick to do. So let me grab one more here out of the pile. So again, we got brackets. We don't want brackets. Take our 3 16th inch drive. Got our bucket underneath it to collect them all. We're gonna. Pop it on. There's one. Pop out number three and four. So three, four, and we got brackets. So we're gonna get rid of this guy. And again, because I'm not covering those terminals, I need to be really, really careful that I don't short them out. Shorting them out, it's not gonna be fun. Gonna have a bad time. So there's bracket gone. When this big uh, four-sided bracket comes off, if it falls over, it can also short it out. So you need to be careful with that too. So there's one, and we're gonna come and get two. Like that. Come over and do number three right here. Like that. And then probably easiest to wiggle the, the fourth one off because then you maintain possession of this bracket the whole time. I just realized it's kind of almost out of frame. So that's it. I just did one, I don't know, in a minute. Probably do it faster, but again, you're only going to have eight of them, so you don't need to set a record. The last thing I want to show you on these batteries. Come on, there you go. Last thing I want to show you on these batteries is the amount of damage they can actually take. So this one was damaged in shipping, and if you look, it looks fine, but on the other side, you can see the battery is really smushed in there. You can see the case got really crushed, it was packaged kind of poorly. Uh, so actually not a huge issue, uh, it, I'm not putting this one in my car, but uh, it does still pass, you know, it has the full amp uh, ampacity that the battery should have. Uh, who knows what it's done to the lifetime. I'm not going to test it. This is going to be my, uh, my guinea pig cell.